What you see on screen is the previous video I've just made where there is a photo and a white border and a drop shadow and a full apology is that I've recorded this video with my microphone turned off so I'm adding my voice later. So the part of it and the point of this video in this lesson is to say do we need Google Drawings to prepare a white border with a photo? And going over to Google Docs you can see that I've created a brand new document called Saturday Sunset and it doesn't have any images at the moment and the main thing is to say and to be thorough is the investigation of looking to see if we can insert an image to see if we get the format options that are available in Google Docs that we had in Google Drawings so you can see on screen that I'm going through looking to insert that photo from Google Photos which is already uploaded and on screen I've got to the level where I'm choosing an image which also means I can pause on the narration and just let the photo appear on screen with me doing the clicking of about 10 to 15 minutes ago. So what you're seeing is the image and I'm now looking to explore to see if I can find the format options. I have got some format options but you can see on the right that I can do the recolouring and also the adjustments but I have no way to add that drop shadow or the um, white border. So I've nipped over to Google Drawings just to have a look to see exactly what it looks like and there is a process to this that I can actually work and what that means is that I do need Google Drawings to download the image with the white border and the drop shadow and then to upload it back into um, Google Docs to make a nice smooth look with this drop shadow. So on screen again you see that I'm looking around for this and I haven't found it which means I'm showing you how to download a PNG or a JPG to your hard drive of your computer in my case Windows 10 you can store it there ready for upload to Google Docs or as I'm about to do I'm going to look into Google Photos where I've uploaded that image top left and then I think I, if I remember correctly, I drag or insert the image and there it is, look, and it's on a white background, it's got a white border and a drop shadow and then what I'm doing is I'm playing around with wrapping the text and making sure I can get the title of our Saturday Sunset Story if you like, um, centred and really I could say that we're done but the, the real thoroughness of it is to keep investigating and keep clicking and keep playing as you cannot break anything to see the best version that you can come up with and please if you can see something on screen that you're doing that I am not then please let me know to spread the word, spread the knowledge of the best way we can use photos with borders and drop shadows, if that's what you like, inside Google Documents at this stage. So what have we got on screen? What is our mic downs from a few minutes ago doing? Looks like we're messing around with the formatting and pulling things around just to see if we can get this old school look of an image with a simple white border and a drop shadow and then we start to unfold our story of how it was a cold yet beautiful day yesterday, Saturday with the sunset and we are done. It looks like we are also in my conclusion saying that the on screen what you just saw in Google drawings is a vital, vital element that is not available, as it seems on my screen, in Google Documents. So if you want to get this look and this effect, then you need to really use Google Drawings and prepare the image and bring it in. Otherwise, you will have this very flat image um, without the drop shadow. But again, what a wonderful thing that Google have done here with their docs and their drawings, getting to a level where 
you can see on screen that I'm messing around honestly wondering what the different borders do and the millimeters um, with the margins and I'm just messing around there to get to a level to say hey you know try these things out the video is about to end by the way so have a great day hope this works for you